folks, we're gonna do this again. Guess what we're doing now? Now I'm going to handle up and do. I'm going to do my fellow Scorpios from the 17th of August to the 23rd. You want to see what's going on from the 17th to the 23rd of August? What's going on, my Scorpios? Please, could y'all help me? Oh, y'all, push that down. If you want to know more of me? What I do, and what I say, this is for all Scorpios. Not no one Scorpio, but all. So keep it cool and keep it mellow. And if you like what I'm saying, push that down. Because I appreciate y'all even turning in and listening. So here we roll. We finna roll on this. Let's see here. Okay. Let's see. I got that one ready. Now we got this one first. Okay. What's going to happen to my Scorpios? What's going to happen? I had shuffled this a little bit before we started Scorpios. What's going down? What's going down with my Scorpios? Oh, August 17th, 23rd of 2020. We finna rock and low. What else is there? What else is there? For my Scorpios, they have the world from the 17th to 23rd. I came for my golden, my angels. Raphael, oh, y'all call upon y'all. Tell me what my Scorpio is, what's going on with them. Okay, Scorpio. Renewal on the 17th. The 18th, what's going on for Scorpios on the 18th? For my Scorpios, what's happening on the 18th? For my Scorpios. All these fell down. You wouldn't believe them. So we have the 18th. I don't know. We just gotta put those too many cards. And I'm gonna shuffle again. Oops, you see they don't want me to shuffle. Isn't that crazy? Oh, we'll try it again. Okay. What's going down for my scorpion? From the 17th to the 23rd. Now we're on the 18th. All right, Ancient Michael. What's going down on the 18th? My Scorpios that we need to be aware of. I've seen a card for. Okay, here we go. We have the impatient card and the workaholic card came in together for the 18th. So we're going to move to the next. We need to know the 19th. What's going down? What's going down 19th? My angels, what do we need to know about the 19th? What's going down? The great importance. They have to be aware of, okay? Gratitude for my, need to have some gratitude for Scorpios. Okay, we got 70, 18, 19, we need the 20th. My angels put us on the 20th for my Scorpios. What's going down on the 20th? Here we go. I hate when cards fall down. It's fun. Tips. Okay, now we're going to the 21st. What's going down? My Scorpios on the 21st. See, these cards just sit down. But there are actually too many, so I'm going to be doing. Okay, 21st. See, that fell out. Renewal. Let's see, the 22nd. What's going to do? Oh, that's the 22nd. What do you say? We got gossip, faith, and we got, we're going to put all these together and insecurities all in one day. <laughs> okay, the 23rd, what's going down? That we need to know our future. What's going down on the 23rd for my Scorpios? The 23rd. The 23rd. The 23rd. <laughs> I think this card right here will take it. Impartialities. I don't know what it is about that card, but everybody's been getting it. Okay. Now. Whew. Okay. We need two cards. I'm going to make sure it's not good for my skin. Scoopy, 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 scoopy. 
Okay, we need two cards. But they need to know great importance. What is important that they need to know? We want two cards from here. Okay. We have one upside down. It's your higher self. We need one more card, please. One more. Four Scorpios. One more. Card. They all want to fall out of my hand. We must be really bad. You Scorpios. That's my moon sign. Look at that. That one's going to slide up, so we're going to take that one. This one is family. I'm going to get one more. One more. Okay. Actually, <laughs> there's too many peas and great gratitude. Okay, we'll take them. Now let's get to explaining all this. Here we go. Let's rock and roll. Looks like on the 17th, you got some kind of renewal coming. In other words, you got a new light. The way things you see things are different. You're gonna, your renewal, you have, it says, this is another beginning. You have a beginning. It could be some breakups from my Scorpios on the 17th to the 23rd, with the possibility. Um, you're regenerating, you're awakening your fortune. You're trying to uh, do different things. You're trying to come out with it. You're trying to start a beginning. What appears to be the end may not be after all. This may turn into a remarkable opportunity. Trust that whatever is coming is better than what you have at this point, okay? At this point, what you have better, you, you know, Scorpio, you're doing better at this point. You don't know. Sometimes you do better without some people that's in your life. Okay, then we have on the uh, 18th, we have impatient. Looks like you're just impatient. You can't, you just can't wait. But you got to get patience. Everything comes to those who wait. If you rush things, that's when problems come. Remember, rushing does nobody no good. Rushing out to touch something that you have no idea about. To get into stuff at work that you have no idea. Because you're so impatient. Or in relationships, you're impatient. That you want changes and they're not moving fast enough so you break up for that watch out for your impatience because it could cause problems in relationships even in your jobs then you got the workaholic card it's like you're working yourself to a little poop to avoid what's going on in your house so you're not too happy so you prefer to be at work making that money so you're trying to make all excuses to stay at work a lot of you scorpios a workaholics and you slow it down a little bit. Take time for yourself and breathe. In and out. We need to meditate and breathe because our home life is so uproar <laughs> that we want to tear our drawers. <laughs> get it? Tear our drawers. Okay. Looks like you're going to get some gratitude from somebody dear. Either you're getting a newborn baby but there's some gratitude you need to have for the things that you have. You need to be gratitude. You're saying thank you for what you have. My Scorpio, be grateful. Even if you got pregnant, be grateful. But like I said, don't think everything is a uh, never written down. This was all written down in the books of life. <laughs> we'll put it that way. Okay. I was 17, 18, 19. Now we're on the, the 20th, which is despondence. This card gets me. I don't know why, but it just does. She's so, it looks like in her face, she's doing, she's battling a lot of things. By taking action, I found the road out. In other words, when you move, despond, when you move and you start looking and you start digging, then you find the things you want, the roads you need to take and everything. But you got to get past all the hang-ups that you're facing go for it do your thing girl do it guy do whatever you gotta do the next one is okay we got the 21st which is release you're releasing you're not keeping no more secrets scorpio you just let it all out you're starting to say enough is enough it's time to release the pressure from my brain 
because too much stuff need to be released so I can go forward. Okay. Then you got, look like you got on the 20, well, that was the 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, the 22nd, which we got three cards. You got gossip. Sometimes gossip leads when people that we tell our business and we think it's sacred, but they got all the smudging and you're telling them. And then when it gets out, you're going to be mad. It's all get up. So stop gossiping about people. If you ain't got nothing nice to say, don't say it at all. Or is it other people gossiping about you? It could be verse way, Scorpio, but don't be part of the group that's not doing the right thing. And have faith in whatever you put your hands on because it's going to turn into gold. You're going to get gold because that's what is designed for you to get. Insecurities. You need to watch that. Scorpio, you got a lot of insecurities in you and you will snap in a minute because you feel like you're all alone. You're great. The greatest anniversary is the one living inside me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, do I listen to my fears? How can I tap into my courage? Being courage, facing and finding tremendous power within is the key. Freedom, bravery, and success. You need to meditate and get over that because we don't need to worry about all that insecurity. If somebody don't want you, let me tell you there's a key. There's always there's more than one. There's somebody out there that will want you. Okay? In the 23rd, you got some impartialities going on. You're trying to decide which way you want to do and what you want to do. You want to paint? You don't even know. So much going on in your life, you have no clue. You're not you're not seeing it because you're too focused on other things. But you need to watch out for your impartialities because you're not seeing it for what it is. Okay? The next card we have for my Scorpios. Let's break it down. Now, the first thing we need, okay, it says peace, but it's upside down. Did you notice that? That peace, number 86, but it was upside down. So, we're going to do this. I'm going to go to the page. Okay, it's in reverse. It says, and I'm talking about this card. This, I'm not car. I'm sorry. Car. I was thinking about a car for some reason. I'm not trying to buy one either. You need peace in your life. You need enjoyment in your life. Receiving this card reverse brings a strong admiration about your approach. You, you how you approach things. Okay, but you are physical and mentally out of balance, and your daily energy is all over the place. If this card reverse is near the the Friday energy card in your spread, the difficulty that insurance could seem overwhelming. It's time to get the balance back into your life. You need to get some balance. You need to get, um, you need to put your priorities in the right place. Proud towards yourself and your own inner peace. Create some gentle realms. Okay. To rest, exercise, and regular meditation to try to approach your task at a more luxurious and organized pace the worries and inner conflicts that you've been going through lately has taken you out of your power whatever may be happening you don't have to be fragmented about it okay fear and reclaim your trust don't fear and reclaim your trust as you slowly get your balance back you'll feel more in control and find there is less to worry about. You hear me? Less. You're on the worry side. You're worrying too much. You're doing too much. I live a balanced and peaceful life. I take time to breathe and relax and let go. That's what you got to do. You got to meditate. I have to start focusing on my meditation because I ain't been doing it. But I need to focus on it because it would make me feel better. The next thing, we got great attitude. Um, you have a great attitude towards what's going on in your life. You got a great, um, great, it says great gratitude. You're going to get some kind of um, great gratitude. Let's see. Some kind of, um, hold on, I'm trying to find it. Um, you're going to get some great gratitude for something that's going to be going down in this week. 
uh, but we're going to 44 because I want to be in more details because um, here we go great attitude basically it says I notice and I appreciate all the wonderful things in my life my gratitude grows more and more each day you're very grateful for the things you have and what you're getting you have a great attitude towards I am grateful for what I have. Scorpios, thank you that to be grateful. It is such a place in the year that people are grateful. Because sometimes people are not grateful for what you do. They're not grateful even for being alive or breathing. And everything is your fault because they're miserable. But that's just life. People blame everybody for everything. You better get used to it because they blame Jesus Christ, you know. And then they tell me all kinds of myths, you know. It's, it's crazy in this world. But then we got the car, we got family. It says, more and more, I am bringing an attitude of playfulness to my life. I love nurturing the child within. Uh, sometimes we do not to nurture our childhood. We have to have something, some fun a little time. You know, remember where you came from. That's the key to this card. Don't forget where you came from. What's your whole purpose here? What you're here to do. That's a lot of it will come into play with what you should do now. Because a lot of times we're not doing what we are supposed to do. We do some of it, but we're not doing all of it. You hear what I'm saying? And we can't do one and don't do the other. Just remember it takes, you shouldn't do less if you ain't gonna do it all, okay? You have to remember that. 158. Okay, we're going to get this next card. Um, sorry, y'all, about this. I had to look it up. Okay, and this one is in reverse, so we have to go with the reverse. It says, your higher self in reverse. Okay, and put it right there. Can y'all see it? I hope y'all can see it. She's so pretty. That's a pretty picture. It says, this card reverse indicates a lonely and a perhaps dark time for you. Your intuition is blocked and you are feeling lost. Suffering an extreme separation from the most powerful part of yourself, your spirit. The disconnection may be due to overwhelming circumstances driving you away from your trust and inner peace. Or it may be that you have simply dismissed the power and importance of your, your own international self. You are stuck in limited and fragile perspective blame. You're blind to your soul truth, feeling powerless to deal with, with the difficulties around you. But the good news is you can never truly be separated from your soul. It is a vibrant, vibrant identity that can reach through time, space to shift your, your consciousness and your entire reality. Open your heart and your mind to this amazing truth let go of person limitation and bring this power into your life this is not passing suggestion but a soul direction once engaged it has the power to change everything you hear that do you hear me scorpio we need to change because we're blocked you know our intuition is blocked too it says i live in the value power and deserving of my inner self my soul connects me at all situations um basically you're it's telling you you are connected you're not alone as they say we're not alone <laughs> but anyway that was corny but i want to tell y'all thank you for listening to me scorpios and i hope you enjoyed my reading and i hope someone got it but remember don't limit yourself unblock yourself unblock your intuition it's there and you do have spirits trying to help you it says there's two. Okay. So keep your head up. And God bless all of y'all. And push that down if you like what I'm saying. So you can hear me again. Because it gets juicier and juicier. Thank y'all. Push it. I really appreciate it. Share this. Do me the biggest favor. And share. So people see me. And they'll interact. Thank you.